Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amy Reads. Today, we are doing my February TBR. So we're already here, January's almost over, today's the 26th, I believe, when I'm filming this. We've made it almost one month into this year, and boy what a month it has been. Um, but we're gearing up for the shortest month of the year, so naturally I've put nine books on my TBR. Because of course I have. Um, so, as you probably know, if you, sorry, my, my chair is making creaky sounds, I promise I'm not farting. Um, not on camera at least. Uh, so, as you probably know, if you've been around, I am doing the buzzword reading challenge every month that Kayla from Books and La La kind of started as a readathon, and now it's just a monthly thing. Um, I'm trying to do that every month. I'm trying to read a book of the month book from my shelves every month. And then I also am part of the Stacks of Strange book club in which we read weird fiction, just weird stuff could be a lot of things. So I've got three books every month that'll fall into that category. Now there it is possible that they could you know overlap fall into the same categories. Um, I also sometimes take part in the currently reading book club um, which is run by Allie from Mrs. Dunn Reads. I'm not this month but you'll probably see that come up again in my TBRs. Um, so I'm gonna start with my first book which is for the buzzword challenge of the month. Now let me move some stuff around. Um, so the buzzword for the month is just a color. It could be any color. Um, so I do have like two books on my shelves that are unread with colors in the title, but I've chosen The Red Garden by Alice Hoffman, which I believe is short stories. Um, and this is, uh, you know, a couple of different characters in a town, and I think that all their stories are kind of interwoven. Um, talk about my good friend Jonna on here all the time. Jonna's the one that got me into Alice Hoffman and um, this is one of her absolute favorites, if not her favorite Alice Hoffman book. I think this is definitely her favorite of the short stories. So anyway, um, it's uh, as you can imagine very short. It's under 300 pages. Um, I also have this out from Libby. Several of the ones I'm going to talk about today I have out from Libby, either in ebook or audiobook format. So that's going to help me I think a lot this month is I won't have to read them all physically. But yeah, that's all I know about this one, but that's what I'm going to choose for the buzzword readathon or buzzword monthly challenge. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my book of the month book and I wanted to read this because I think I'm the last person on earth who's not read this. Someone in my comments for my 21 books to read in 2021 video was like I have also not read this. So okay me and this other girl are the last two people on earth who have not read Normal People by Sally Rooney which as you can see is a book of the month copy. I got this the month they offered it which was like two years ago. Um, Everyone's talked about it. I want to watch the Hulu show um, and I know this is kind of like a tragic love story. Maybe not tragic but like I don't think this book has a happy ending. Um, so obviously I'm going to read it during the month of romance. <laughs> I'm not reading like any romance this month but I mean I read romance nearly every month so I don't have to like amp it up for February. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read Normal People by Sally Rooney, another really short one. Um, you probably already know this is about um, two young adults who I think in college or high school, they're like best friends, but the girl is really in love with the guy and I think that he's also in love with her, but she's like a much lesser like social standing than he is and so they have this weird like back and forth relationship through many years of their life that's not really equal. Um, and I, I don't think it has a happy ending. I think it's just supposed to be poignant. That's what my understanding. I may be totally wrong there. But yeah, going to finally get around to reading that this month. Um, for Stacks of Strange, I don't physically have this book with me, but for February re we are reading a debut novel which is What Big Teeth by Rose Zabo. Um, this is a YA book um, about a girl who goes back home to visit family and there's definitely some fantastical creature type things going on. Maybe her family is not human. Interesting stuff. Very cool cover. Very like on trend I feel like. Reminds me of um, Wilder Girls. Things like that. There's a lot of like mixing you know girls faces and wilderness and 
creature type things. I feel like that's like a trend um, in covers. But anyway, so that's our pick for this month for Stacks of Strange. Um, I will leave, of course, all the information about Stacks of Strange, our Instagram. We have a Discord chat. Uh, I think there's six of us who are running the book club. Yes. Um, and so they will all be linked down below as well. So if you want to join us in February, that's what we're reading. I don't think we've set a live show date yet. It will be at the very end of February, possibly beginning of March. And um, stay tuned to my Instagram stories. I will let you know when that is going to be. As far as arcs uh, for this month, I only have one. Um, I actually have a book that came out in February, but it is going to be our March pick for Stacks of Strange. So I haven't talked about it or read it yet. Um, so for March, I only have one book that comes out, and that is The Girls Are Also Nice Here by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn. Um, this one is um, a very kind of classic story, one that I really enjoy about a woman like going back to her school, um, and I don't know if it was a boarding school or a college or which, what it was, I don't remember, but, um, and kind of rehashing and refacing um, stuff that happened there. It's a very like Mean Girls-esque situation as you can imagine from the title. The girls are also nice here. It's kind of like a the opposite of what's going on. Um, so I am excited for that one. I don't know if it will be like thriller-esque or if it will just be kind of like psychological. Um, it is an adult book so yeah um, I'm excited for that one. So of the other books that I have that I just have pulled from my shelves, I wanted to pay attention to a couple of things. I wanted to pay attention to uh, the fact that February is Black History Month. Um, I talked in my goals that I am trying to be much more conscious or continue to be much more conscious about picking up books from black authors and authors of color uh, just as I continue on my reading journey. Um, I read a lot of black authors in January. I will read a lot of black authors in March and April and May. Um, but it is Black History Month in February so I, I wanted to make sure that I was um, being conscious of that and talking about some black authors this month. Um, another thing I wanted to be mindful of is what I happen to have out from Libby right now. Um, and another thing is reading books off my shelves. So I've kind of combined a couple of those things. Um, and so the first book I'm going to talk about that I would like to get to this month is Watch Us Rise by Rennie Watson and Ellen Hagen. This was also featured on my 21 books to read this year video. Another thing I'm trying to keep in mind. Um, Renee Watson is a black author. Ellen Hagen is white. Um, and I do believe that they write each of these characters um, a different, I think it's two point of views from each of those characters. So I know that this is beloved by many, many people. This is Allie from Mrs. Dunreed's like favorite book from last year. Um, but this follows two girls who um, in high school, is it they plan? Yeah, they they start like a new club dedicated to writing and creating work that supports women's ideas, um, turn their voices, write like a girl. It's an online outlet for essays, poems, and actions. And of course that like starts something at their school and the administration gets all upset and all that stuff. So this is kind of just like I think a book about female empowerment at the high school level. And I do think that race does come into play at some point because you do have a black girl and a white girl creating this club and I think that maybe the response to them is different. So very interested to read this, have heard lots of good things. Next, and I'm going to just discuss this briefly because the author of this book is someone who I used to like and she has said some transphobic let's just say it, transphobic comments in the past. She said something a few years ago and then it kind of became clear that maybe she wasn't real sure what she was talking about and it came from a place of ignorance and not a place of hate and she kind of like apologized and was like, oh that's not what I meant when I said that. I wasn't really knowledgeable about it. And so I thought, okay, that's great. But now she's kind of doubled down on those statements. She's supported JK Rowling um, and her essay that she wrote. And I don't love that. You probably know I'm talking about Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Um, but a book I want to read this month is Americana. Um, I've had this on my shelves for a long time. I think I would love this book. It always kind of intimidated me. Um, but I've heard so many people talk about how great it is. I think that it will be a little bit reminiscent of Queenie in a sense, which I loved. Um, so I want to read it regardless of 
Medici's words. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about it. So, you know, I'm going to read it this month. Okay, moving on. Uh, next I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Um, I have somehow not read this yet. This is her follow-up to The Hate You Give. I mean, it's not related to it in any way, but this is her sophomore book. Um, and this is about a young girl who is an aspiring rapper, I believe. Uh, yeah, she wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all time. And this is just about her experience uh, trying to break into the music industry as a young black woman, uh, as a female rapper, and all of that. So I've heard a lot of people say, oh, they didn't like it as much as The Hate You Give, but I don't think it's intended to be quite as heavy as The Hate You Give. I don't know, it might be. Um, she also just came out with Concrete Rose, which is like a prequel to The Hate You Give about Star's father. Really want to read, but I don't think that's going to be in from the library in time for February. But I'm going to read on the come up um, because again, this was also featured uh, as well as Americana was featured on books I want to read this year. So, uh, and then I have two more that are out from the library that I don't have physically. Now I do have some of this stuff on Libby, like I said. Uh, the next thing is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. Similarly to On the Come Up, this is about a young black woman who is trying to break into the music industry. In this instance, our main character is a singer, not a rapper, necessarily. I know rappers also sing, but uh, she's a singer, and I think this is a very different story about her being kind of groomed and abused by this older man in the music industry who sort of takes her under his wing. Um, I think from what I've heard that it's a little reminiscent of R. Kelly, kind of supposed to be about um, a situation like that. I've heard this is very hard to read. It's very moving. It will make me angry. The last thing I have is Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man by Emmanuel Acho or Acho. I should have looked that up. Uh, it's A-C-H-O. Um, and this is nonfiction. This is a very short little audiobook that I have from Libby. Um, and it is as you can imagine, uncomfortable conversations with a black man. So it's just a lot, it's a lot of topics that we as white people or non-black people of color even um, don't want to have with black people and it's just kind of like a short little it's like essays kind of manifesto ish ish thing um, and I think it will be good and it is like I said nonfiction so that will make one nonfiction for this month and I'm reading one for January what if I read a nonfiction every month oh my god who would I be um, but yeah so those are the nine books a long video. Those are the nine books that I have on my February TBR. So no ooey gooey romance this month. Um, I mean I read romance anytime and I guarantee I have some some adult contemporary romances out from the library on Libby and I guarantee those will get peppered in um, when I'm in the mood for something lighter because I do have some heavy stuff on my TBR this month so um, I guarantee I will be reading a romance or two um, you know, in between some of these more intense reads. Um, and maybe like after normal people, if I need to read something with a happy ending, I might need to read one of those. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which one of these books you think I should pick up first. What are you reading in the month of February? Are you prioritizing romance books? What do you like to read around Valentine's Day? It could be horror for all I know. Sometimes love is horrifying to some people. I hope not you. Put a put a heart, whatever color you want, down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye!